Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 1st through March 7th. Now, keep in mind that the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you. So, we're just going to see what comes up. What do I have for Libra for around the first week of March? What do I have for Libra? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now we just had a card fly down on my arm. Door to value. So there is a doorway that is opening. It may ha be a money door, you know, where you're, there's some sort of money that is going to be coming into you. Maybe you're going to be investing in something that is really going to be bringing you money, okay? Um, there's abundance here. There's, there's money all around, okay? You see all the money? There's, this is about, you know, somebody's going to be seeing your value and you're probably going to be getting a payout of some sort. Or money is coming. Money is coming to you, all right? It's a very good card for money. Um, if you've been struggling financially, things are probably going to get better. Um, there's a lot of money to be had here in whatever this is. This could be a new enterprise, okay? You have to go through that door though because there's a doorway here. That means you're going to have to walk through a doorway. You're going to have to make a conscious change to go through that door. So you have to invest in it, all right? You have to want it, all right? You have to take it. So I do believe that you are going to be given an opportunity that really makes you money or you may be getting an increase in money or there's money coming in, put it that way. You could be starting something new that increases your you know, bank account in the future as well, but there's definitely going to be an increase of financial abundance in the near future. But, it, but the thing is, is you have to... You have to make that choice to go through that door, whatever it is, you have, or to, uh, take it, you know, you have to, it's, it's there, it's there, you got to take it, you may have to do something to get it, well, most likely you do, um, anyhow, there's money, it's about money, and it's positive, it's very positive, There's some, so I feel like it's, there's something that you do that can make you a lot of money. You have some sort of skill that is very valuable, all right? Maybe you're starting to know your value. You know, maybe you're, maybe you have a talent that can, that you are going to be sharing with the world that's going to make you some money. Pig! Oh boy. Beware of greed. Turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. Well, that's always fun, isn't it? So you do got somebody that's behaving stupidly. Uh, maybe they need to beware of greed. Maybe they're the greedy ones. Maybe, ha ha, maybe you got somebody that is greedy that could be after your money. So you need, to, you definitely need to be careful. I think that you definitely need to be careful. I mean, when we get uh, someone is behaving stupidly, somebody may see your value. They may see that you have some money and they may be greedy and they want your money. Be careful. Don't be stupid and give away your money. Not saying that you're stupid, but I mean, I mean, I, mean, I, can't, I don't know, you know, or maybe you have a talent that you're not using, you know, use the talent that you have to make money. All right. Anyhow, there is, there is, uh, you, I feel like you have some money that is coming to you. Okay. It's coming to you. Um, you deserve it in some way. And I feel like you really have a talent because that keeps coming out of my mouth. Um, I feel like that greed is somebody around you. I don't feel like it's you. I don't. I feel like you've got somebody around you that is very greedy. This person wants your money. <laughs> ah, I could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. This could be anybody. This is somebody that is insecure. That it, and this could be your own energies. Okay, could be you. These. This is a. This is insecure. This is. 
don't know my value, lack of value. Could also be somebody around you that doesn't have very much to offer. Now, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is uh, is overly materialistic, uh, money grabbing. This is a fortune hunter. This is somebody that is self-centered and mean-spirited and jealous and... Uh, you know, they may be living in scarcity, right? They may be deprived or so they're bad with money or something like that. Now, this could be you or it could be somebody that you're dealing with. This is a need to hold on to your money, okay? Um, I'm not sure as well if you are dealing with somebody. It could be a mother. It could be a mother. Um, it could be a stepmother or somebody that's not very motherly that is financially unstable that is asking you to borrow money. I don't know. Anyhow, the, the queen of pentacles in reverse is somebody, this could also be somebody in your uh, arena that is ill. You know, this person doesn't take very good care of themselves. They don't take care of their health. They don't work. You know, they may, maybe they have some sort of illness, you know, that's chronic or something. Um, and they can't really work. They don't have a lot of money and they want you to help them, you know, and it could be a man or a female. This is somebody that just doesn't have, you know, a lot to give to you. They don't take very good care of you. This could be neglect. Okay. This could be a neglectful parent or a partner or something like that. Anyhow, I do believe that, um, or you could be dealing with somebody that, you know, doesn't want to spend their money. They want to spend yours. Okay. Be careful. Be careful. I feel like uh, you also got somebody here that is jealous of you. This person's greedy. You got, you're dealing with a greedy individual that you need to be aware of. Um, I feel like this person is neglectful. They don't. They don't take very. They're, they, they're neglectful. They're, they uh, aren't very nurturing or something like that. Um, this could also be personal neglect. So you could be neglecting yourself. This is like penny pinching as well. You may be pinching your pennies. If you have been pinching your pennies because you're worried about your financial future, I feel like your financial future is going to get better. And, and, and this beware of greed can also relate to you. You know, maybe, you, maybe you're too worried about your money. You know, whatever. Um, what, do we, what do we have for Libra? Page of Swords. You know, I think that you're dealing with somebody that is probably immature. I think that you need to protect yourself in some way. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's somebody around you that is childish. That is childish. I feel like there's some sort of news that is going to come out or information that is going to come out that could cause some sort of conflict. I don't know if there's news of legalities here as well. You could be dealing with somebody that is very jealous that, uh, I don't know, they may be trying to get your money. I feel like somebody's trying to get your money or they just want you for money or something like that. Mm. Page of Swords. News of legalities. Doing research. Somebody may be doing research this week. You may be dealing with an enemy. There could be an enemy here. There is also some words that could be being said that could, somebody could be saying something without thinking and it could cost them something. Be careful. <laughs> be careful. Um, seven of blades reverse. Seven of swords reverse. Let me get another card. Nine of swords reverse. You got a lot of swords here. Ooh, there's some deception. You have an enemy. You have an enemy here. You definitely do. It's like almost like somebody is is up against, up against you. They want to they they want to. This is somebody that is is trying to beat you in some way. They're competing with you. I feel like they're really really competing. They're stealing. I feel like there's a thief here. You know, I think that I do. I feel like and somebody could get caught. They could get caught lying. I, I want. I feel like there's been some sort of. Uh, oh, this is the nine of swords reverse. Uh, somebody's been draining you, and I don't know if they've been draining you financially, or draining your energy, or something. There's been a lot of uh, stress. I feel like you've been in a stressful situation with an individual. 
um, that is, it's a, some sort of cheating going on. You're being cheated. You've been cheated of, I mean, maybe somebody doesn't know your value or something like that. Feel like you're being cheated in some way. You got to be careful. Okay. I'm just telling you, you really, this is a warning to be careful. All right. I think that you have a lot to offer and there is somebody around you that doesn't, you know, they may think you're stupid. <laughs> just being honest with you. They may think that you, you know, that you, you don't realize, but I, th I think that you're smarter than that. Anyhow, um, now seven of swords reverse. That is, ah, oh, taking a new approach. I feel like, uh, I feel like there's some illegal activities going on here. Somebody is doing something illegal. They are acting without conscience. Whoever you're dealing with doesn't have very big of a conscience. You know, they don't they don't care. They don't care who they hurt. I think you need to give deep thought to a relationship that you are dealing with. You're dealing with somebody who does not have good intentions. They're not very nurturing. They're mean spirited. They're selfish. They're greedy. You're dealing with somebody that is greedy. I feel like they want your money. They want what you can give them financially or something like that. Mm. Seven of coins. There could be a relocation here. This is about money. Absolutely. This is about money. So somebody, I feel like you have been, or they have been, you have been, you have been investing in something that is a dead end. It is a dead end. This is a dead end. There's no growth here. It's time. There's time for a relocation. There's, it is. Somebody needs to relocate. They need to, they need to plant their seeds someplace else. This is, this is short lived success. You know, somebody has tried to make something grow or they didn't nurture it. They didn't water it. They didn't feed it. They didn't do what they were supposed to do. Now it's time to go someplace else. Now it's time to go someplace else. I do believe there's a message that is coming or somebody is saying something about somebody's instability or somebody's lack of responsibility. Somebody's not working hard enough. Somebody's not putting in enough effort. It's time to go someplace else. This could be a benefit for you. It could be maybe you get the job or you get the whatever it is. Somebody didn't put or could go eat anyway. If somebody hasn't been putting in the work, they haven't been doing what they said they were going to do or they didn't follow through with the plans and now it's time to go someplace else. This is a dead end. There's been lies. There's been cheating. There's been some sort of deception. This is getting caught. I feel like somebody's going to say something and I don't know. Somebody's going to get caught. Somebody is going to get caught. Now they're not, they're going to get caught in a lie or, you know, some truth is going to come out. Something is going to come out. Something is going to be revealed. Somebody has been in a very stressful situation where there's been a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety. Um, and now it's time to give deep thought. So this deep thought, somebody is giving deep thought to a relationship or a situation where there's no growth. So there's going to be, there's going to be a change. There is definitely going to be a change. I wonder if somebody could be being let go of their responsibilities, you know, it's like you, you're not doing your, your work, you know, you're, we're letting you go. So somebody could be letting go, being let go of their responsibilities. Um, page of wands and the page of wands is typically good news arriving an offer or an invite. And this is seeds that were planted a long time ago that are coming to fruition after somebody has been in some sort of situation that didn't grow. So something is positive. This is actually positive. It is. This is, a, this is going in a new direction after, after a lack of growth, after, you know, you've invested in something or somebody's invested. There's been an investment that was short lived. Okay, this is short-lived success. It's time to relocate, go someplace else where you will be valued. I feel like you've been waiting. You've been waiting for something. You've been waiting for good news or a new opportunity. If you've been waiting for that opportunity, I think it's coming. 
This opportunity is coming, and this is a this is a big payout or payoff or something like that. You're gonna get what you deserve, and I feel like you've been in something where you didn't get what you deserved, or somebody just didn't take care of business. They did not take care of business, but this is really, really good news or an offer, an invite that is coming that leads you down a new path. So there is an offer or an invite this that is coming. This is a new discovery. It's traveling in a new direction. Very positive change. This, for some of you, there could also be a new suitor that is coming in that is very, very well suited for you. And now this could be a job offer. It could be a person. I don't know. But there is something coming in that is very well suited for you. And it will end the stressful situation that you have been in. Okay, if you've been in a stressful situation where you weren't getting paid enough or you weren't getting what you deserve or you weren't being valued, there is an opportunity here where you will be valued. Okay, you're going to be valued. Some of you are dealing with an individual who just causes you problems. This person causes you a lot of problems. Things are going to change, though. I do believe that things are going to change. Very positive change with that page of wands. Something is about to happen. This is a burst. That page of wands is a burst. It's a burst of excitement. So you're going to... Whatever is coming to you... Uh, is going to relieve some of the stress. The stress is going to be relieved. Okay? This is relief. Page of coins. Some of you are dealing with a child. Child, child, child. So something to do with a child here. Um, for some of you. There's a, there's a lack of definitely focus. There's also immaturity. That could be immaturity. But anyhow, um, somebody hasn't been putting in much effort. They have not put in much effort. They have been involved in a dead end. This is a dead end. We have the seven of coins is a dead end. So we have the page of coins in reverse. We have a dead end here. There's no, there's no long-term success in a certain situation. There's a blockage standing in the way of achieving your goal. And it may be ambition. It may be drive. It may be confidence. It may be fear. Have no fear. Have no fear. Express yourself. Anyhow, I feel like uh, somebody hasn't planned. They haven't followed through. They didn't, they didn't, uh, they've become lazy. You know, they have not followed through and they've involved themselves in a situation that has drained them. They've lost sight of their goal with the page of pentacles reversed. There's, they've, they've uh, given up. This is somebody that is foolish, that is unhealthy, that doesn't want responsibility, that really isn't interested in working or interested in putting in effort. This person, whoever this person is that is lazy, that doesn't focus, that doesn't follow through, that doesn't follow, well, that doesn't follow through with plans, is going to be losing something of value. And for some, and somehow I, I believe that you're going to get the, you're going to get it. Or maybe you're just realizing your value. You could be realizing your value after not realizing it. All right? Investing in something else. I do believe that something that started a long time ago, definitely, I see it in two cards, is, is coming to fruition now. And you are about to receive some sort of abundance that you're owed. I think you're owed it. And I feel like there's been some sort of delay. And I feel like the delay has to do with... Uh, maybe you weren't being practical or you weren't being realistic or something like, or somebody that you're dealing with wasn't, but I do believe there's some sort of, um, I don't know what that page of swords. I feel like there's an, there's some sort of awakening or something. A message is coming. Okay. It may not be what you're hoping to hear, but it's what you need to hear. All right. Um, You're moving into a period of growth, put it that way. And I feel like you're going to need to really, really give deep, deep thought to a relationship. You're dealing with somebody that doesn't have good intentions. They don't nurture you or take care of you. They use you or whatever the case is. And I feel like you really need to be honest with yourself. 
and invest someplace else. You have a new opportunity that's coming. You do. Um, Hierophant reversed. So you're dealing with somebody, could be Taurus, doesn't have to be. You have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. You have uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn quite a bit. You also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius quite a bit. That's probably who you're dealing with. You could be dealing with a fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, I mostly see earth in air. Um, there could be relation. You do have, there is some relationship problems here. There's a lack of faith. There's a lack of trust, lack of believing in oneself. You may not be connecting with your higher power. You need to listen. This is somebody that doesn't listen to any advice. Uh, somebody is under a lot of social pressure, having a hard time doing the right thing. Could be dealing with a father. Doesn't have to be. Um, this is a per person that, is, that appears to be in a posi position of authority that abuses their power. Um, I do believe that there is uh, relationship issues or commitment issues. Um, somebody isn't really committed, um, but they're uh, investing in something that isn't, well, they're investing in something that isn't growing and they're unwilling to uh, go in a different direction because of social pressure. I mean, the Hierophant reversed is having a hard time doing the right thing, being controlled by a father figure or a person in a position of authority. It doesn't have to be a father figure. This is somebody that doesn't believe in oneself, that doesn't have faith, that doesn't trust. You know, and so they're committed to something that isn't growing. There's no growth here. Anyhow, um, somebody is having a hard time doing the right thing because of society. Under a lot of social pressure. And this is disgrace. So there's some sort of disgrace here being disgraced, being publicly embarrassed even. There could be some public embarrassment. Anyhow, um, somebody's been breaking the rules. They don't listen to any advice at all. You know, they do the opposite of what they say. And whoever this person is, is getting caught. With the seven of swords reversed, they're getting caught. And when they get caught, whether it's you or them, somebody's getting caught and they're going to be embarrassed. And they're about to lose something. And I feel like it's going to be your gain in some way. Whoever this person is, they can't, they can't do the right thing. They can't do the right thing. They can't. Anyhow, I do believe that you've been in a stressful situation and I feel like that stressful situation is coming to a halt. Okay, I do. I feel like it's coming to a halt. I feel like you're going in a new direction, a new positive direction. Okay, and you're investing in something now that is going to grow. There is growth in the future. So I feel like this is a week where um, there's going to be a change. There is going to be a change. Somebody could be relocating, could be job-wise, could be uh, relationship-wise. We could have the end of a commitment here. That's what we got. This is the end of a commitment. And, and an exciting new beginning here. Somebody could be moving. They could be moving. After they've been stalled, after they've been, there's been a blockage in the way. There's been a blockage. This is a blockage. So anyway, um, get prepared for a change. You're going to need to be flexible. You're going to need to adapt. This is a profit and a loss. So get prepared for a major change this week where your value is increased. You're going to see an increase in your value. Good luck.